Welcome to the last. Thanks, Kieran. Hey, everybody, welcome to the last day, day five of improv class. Can you believe it? Oh, we have the other Kathy. Um, I'm going to move you into the lineup here, other Kathy. Um, actually, I'm going to put you. La, 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 la. I'm going to put you so we don't have two Kathys in a row. I'm going to put you in between Pooja and Laura. So we're going to make you number. Oh, Laura, I'm sorry. You'll have to be okay with number four. <laughs> you, you wouldn't you wouldn't have two Kathy's in a row because you've got Kathy and then you've got Kieran. It's okay. It's okay. Go with me here. That's that's the core of improv is you got to you got to be flexible. Okay. Okay, so we got sure. Laura, then Nina, we're going to make number five. Andrew, make yourself number six. Kathy, I'm going to make you number seven. Okay, and Kieran, when he comes back, I'll do it for him. He's going to be number eight. Oh, I can't rename him. Why is that? Interesting. All right, we'll just leave it. Okay. <clears throat> hey, everybody. Welcome back to Improv. <clears throat> so this is our last day of five days, right? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Who's been here every day? Who do you I, have? Wait, who's been here every day? I would have, but I, I had other stuff yesterday. That's okay. You're not getting any demerits. If, um, if the you, other if Kathy. You wanna, if you want to make me number eight because Kieran's irrevocably number seven you can do that oh we might have to do that um if That's i can right. him. i can do that myself if you okay want. make yourself number eight what a good idea <clears throat> welcome back kieran uh i think uh kathy ipad has also been here every day so let's have a hand for the people the brave improvisers who made it every single day Woo! <clears throat> and kieran only missed one day because he runs a radio show for his high school so that's a totally totally understandable absence <clears throat> and you were probably doing some improvising when you were um I'm seeing the radio show too. So <clears throat> here is our crew for today. And you know what tonight is at 8.15? The Improv Showcase. <clears throat> so here's the deal. We need you to show up again tonight. We're going to practice this afternoon. We're going to get real comfortable. Who can make it tonight, 8.15 Pacific time for the Improv Showcase? Let's see some hands. We need you. Oh, this is, is there, fabulous. Is there anything else at 8.15? I don't think so. I think it's only one thing going at that time, and then there's another thing at 9.30. If there's, so nothing, think, oh. else, if there's nothing else, I'll be there. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to make any choices. All right, so everybody's going to be there. That's awesome. <clears throat> and if other people show up who were in our improv class during the week but didn't come today, I, I will find a way to fit them in. So we're going to start. I'm not sure. I, that, that didn't mean yes. That meant I'm not sure. You're not sure. Okay. Yeah, because so, it's in Seattle Song Circle at the same time. Got it. So it it's good for me to know that, Laura, but so we'll make sure that you're not uh, in anything um, that relies on you being there. <clears throat> okay. I'll, I'll, probably, I'll probably decide by the end of end of this workshop today. Okay. I've, especially if I know a little bit more <clears throat> about it, I'll know whether okay. I want to dive, dive Perfectly in. fine. I know this is only your second day here. Okay, everybody, we're going to start. So everybody have your camera on and your um, microphone on. And I'm going to shift my video. You might want to do this too. That little arrow next to the camera, video, then click on video settings, scroll down, and put hide non video participants. That helps for improv class. That way, anyone who's just watching, we don't see them on our screen and we don't get confused. Um, cool. Oh, yeah. I don't have that option. I didn't last time either. That's okay. And Donna Murphy, we don't know if you're just listening or what. You do have your video on, but we're, we're going to skip you since we don't see you. If you show up, we will include you. Okay, everybody, we're going to do a warm-up game. And um, this is called Sound in Motion. I don't think we've done this one yet. It's a new one. So we're going to go by the numbers. We start with me and we end with Kathy S. We're going to uh, leave Donna out because we don't, know, we don't see her. We don't know where she is. Um, and then from Kathy S, it'll go back to me. So I'm going to make a sound and a motion. So sound, motion, and repeat it as quickly as possible. Now, I know it might take a little time to get on Zoom from California to India, so there might be a little lag. <laughs> but do it as quickly as you can. Repeat the we, same we, sound. Hang on. Please let me. We explain. did that yesterday. but just No, this was different. 
You're going oh, to repeat. Okay. You're going to repeat the same sound as as uh, was passed to you. And then when it gets all the way around, I do it one more time, and then the next person starts a new one. We didn't do this the part two yesterday. No, then Pooja will start a sound and emotion. Everyone repeats it. Gets back to Pooja. You do it one more time. Then Kathy will start a sound and motion. Go as quickly as possible. Everybody got it? Okay. So first of all, get ready to go. Get your hands ready. Get your face ready. Go as quickly as possible. Yo! Yo! Kathy. Kathy iPad. Go. Yo! 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 So I do it one last time. Now Pooja, start a new one. Okay, now Kathy, Kathy, start a new one. Zippity doo da. Zippity doo da. Dippity doo da. Dippity doo da. Dippity doo da. Zippity doo da. Zippity doo da. Zippity doo da. One more time, Kathy. Zippity doo da. Great. So again, you repeat. The person who started it repeats it one last time. Everybody goes fast as you can. Laura, you're on. Go, Anina. <laughs> One more time, Laura. Okay. Now, just a reminder, this this game is called Sound and Motion. So, may have a sound with the motion too. Um, okay, Anina, you're on. one Kathy. Whoopee. 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 Yay, give yourselves a hand. Okay. Um Pooja, I thought for a moment there your microphone was out, but it seems yeah. to be working again. So that's good. I, it was weird. It was it was a momentary zoom glitch, but you're back. <laughs> You're back. Okay, we're going to do one new game that we haven't done yet. And then we're going to decide which games you want to do for the showcase tonight. Because oh. I have a list of about 12 games that we've done this week. Yes, we've oh. done that many. And we can't fit all of those into our hour-long showcase from 8.15 to 9.15 Pacific tonight. So you guys are going to help choose which games we want to do. Most of them have everyone in them, but some of them have just some, some people, just a few people. So um, we can start thinking about those. But first, I'm going to show you one more new one. It's called Slideshow. And slideshow is one that's usually about, um, hmm, let's see, how many people do we have here today? We could try it with everyone. Well, yeah, you know what? We will try it with everyone because I won't be playing. I'll be directing. I'm going to need an MC for this. And the MC is someone who's going to be, you know, when someone gives like a, a travel uh, presentation and they're showing slides of their trip. You know, and then we did this, and then, oh, this slide shows this, right? So yeah. what's going to happen is um, everyone's going to, in a moment, we're all going to turn our cameras off, and then we'll have the MC will come up with their camera on, and they're going to say, hey, everybody, I want to tell you about my wonderful trip to, and everybody's going to type some names of places in the chat. So this time, go ahead and start type, typing names of places, maybe unusual places. Where, where, where did this traveler go? <clears throat> what is this? travel presentation about. So type some interesting places. 
And the, our MC, <clears throat> we might be able to do this a couple times. The MC will say, oh, this is about my trip to, you know, whatever they find in the chat, Zanzibar, right? And then they're going to say, let me show you the first slide. And they, they go like this as if they're carrying a remote. And they go, click. When they say click, everybody turns their camera on. Make sure you're listening to me because so I only have to explain this once. Everybody turns their camera on and takes a pose that might be in that location. And then the MC says, oh, yes, here's my first slide. Notice, here is my mother, and she was not feeling well on the trip. And, oh, you know, here's the tour guide. He was terribly bored. He was just sitting there like this. Right? And you explain as if it was the slide, as if it was everyone in the slide. And you say, and now, here's my next slide. Click. And when they say click, everybody switches to a new position. And then they explain. When we do this in real life, the, the slide people are behind the MC, so they don't see everyone getting into position. So on, on Zoom, it's a little harder, but they just say click and everybody shift to a new position. They say, now this slide is about such and such. Who wants to try being the MC? Pooja, would you like to try it? I think you could do a good job of this. Will you try it, please? Because I know you've done a lot of improv. Yay. Okay. Give her a hand, everybody. Woo, Pooja. All right. Uh, by, by the way, I wanted to know what what is the full form of MC? MC, Master of Ceremonies. Oh. Okay. It's like the host of a show. Mm -hmm. Okay. In rap music, it's also like the person who does the rap. But you know, it's the traditional uh, definition of MC or host, you host. know, who's hosting. We'll call it host. So uh, Pooja is going to be our host. And everybody uh, else, uh, turn your cameras off. And Pooja, will you look at the chat and pick a place that you're going to say that your uh, visit was? So everyone turn your cameras off. I'm going to turn mine off, too. Um, How about sound? You know what, Kieran, can we, I don't know who this person, Donna, is. Can you turn her camera off? Because she's not actually here. And it's a little confusing to have that. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Kieran. All right. So and, and uh, we should have our sound off too. Our you should have. Off. Oh, actually, thank you for the reminder, Laura. Everybody should have their microphone off except for Pooja and me, because Pooja is the host and I'm directing. You're all going to come on. You're going to take a pose, but you are going to be absolutely silent. The only one talking will be Pooja. Everyone got it? And I'll help you. I'll give you some side coaching and, and directing. All right, Pooja. Um, did you pick a location? Yes, okay. I did. Okay, so Pooja, you get to start. You can say, welcome, everybody, to my travel show. I want to show you my fantastic trip to, and you're going to say the place, and you're going to say, here's my first slide. Click. Everybody will turn their cameras on, but not your microphones. Keep those microphones muted. You're going to take a pose, and then she's going to explain it. She's going to say, and, and here's my next slide. Click, and everybody will switch. And we'll do that. We'll show like three or four slides. And, and um, I might say, last. here's the last slide. Okay, so not yet, Kieran. You should have your camera off and go Pooja. Hello and welcome to my journey of travels. Um, so this, the place I traveled to is Hawaii, switch. Okay, she said, say click, <laughs> everybody come on. <laughs> it's click. a big click. Oh, take a pose. Okay, you get to explain this. So these are the places, these is, this is the photograph so you see Kati's iPad. This is the place where I saw a monkey eating a pizza for the first time. And I was so shocked. I was like, oh my God, I really wanted to join them, but I couldn't uh, because they could have hit me or something. Um, so then if you see um, Andrew. Okay, so I saw a bull running towards me. He was so fast that it was just going to hit me because I was wearing the color red. <laughs> uh -huh, scary. And as you see, Karen, um, like the, the memory of my photo is when I was in the disco dancing and suddenly some one fellow was just passing by and he accidentally dropped juice on my beautiful one piece that I was wearing. And I was like, oh my God, take it away, please. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm um, sorry if I say pronounce your name wrong. If uh, if you see the fifth photo, fifth slide of the photo uh, in Anna, Annie, and you know what? There, I think 
I think Pooja, it's probably easier if you just use the numbers. You don't have to deal with the names. Just say and slide and the and person number five. Oh, and the person number five, the slide number five is when I had to mop the floors just because my friend had puked. Uh, <laughs> and the number four, I was actually swimming in the water in the ocean. And suddenly when I, I just woke up from the sleep and you see the slide number eight and suddenly I just got off the sleep, off the sleep and I was like, oh my God, thank God that was just a dream. And I saw the shark coming and then the sleep broke on time and there was, I could have gotten a heart attack that day. Oh, uh, <laughs> let's, let's see one more set of slides from, and you can pick a new location. So everybody you turn, turn your cameras off. Cameras off, mics off, except for Pooja. And and here's a, here's a, here's a, some slides from a different trip. Okay, so my next location is Australia. <laughs> Click. Okay, so everyone sees those wonderful slides coming up. In slide number eight, I was jumping like a kangaroo. I saw a baby kangaroo and I was like, oh my God, so cute. So I started running like kangaroo and I fell off, but it was, it was fun. Then you see the slide number three, which is coming up. I saw a baby eating an ice cream <laughs> and it was my favorite Zulu bar ice cream. I wanted to stop my temptations, but I couldn't. So I made a face and I ran away from outside. And then as you see in the slide number six, I went, I was, I was so frustrated. I wanted to eat that ice cream because I couldn't eat because I was on diet. So I saw a trampoline over there and I was just banging over there so that all my frustration gets out and you know, I should feel more better and normal. And then you can see in the slide number seven, I saw my friend coming bringing my favorite ice cream to make me eat and you know not get me so frustrated and i saw her and i quickly jumped and hugged her because she brought my favorite ice cream and made my day much better and in the slide number four as you can see after eating that ice cream i was so energized that i was ready to climb a tree I saw a tree with big, big coconuts and I started climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing. In the slide number five, you see me grabbing the coconut and picking it out and, and popping it up and having the cold, cold coconut. It tastes a bit bad because, because of the heat so much in Australia, even the coconut said, oh my God, please leave me alone. And it fell off my hand. And I was like, oh no, what will I do now? And then, as you can see in the slide number six, I flew like a bird and I landed down and it was fun. And uh, it was all good because then I could go and actually eat my favorite food, Sizzlers. So yes. Yay. <laughs> that was fabulous, Pooja. Oh my goodness. And yes, you don't have to go in number. You can just pick, picking the numbers of the slides is the way to go. What a good job. And I love the creativity. I don't think they have coconut trees in Australia, but now they do, according to you. <laughs> it doesn't have to make sense. That's the wonderful thing about improv. You Me too. I, I, was, I was thinking about that. I was climbing a coconut tree. So it's interesting that you thought it was a coconut tree. Wow. And you can, you can uh, make believe you can create crazy stuff that doesn't really exist. You can pick a place that you've never been and you know nothing about and you just create it. And, and it makes it really funny. The audience will think it's really funny, you know, like uh, you went to, um, you know, New York and you saw the wild elephants uh, running around like you, you probably wouldn't see that in New York, but you can make it up. Good job, Pooja. Let's give her a hand. Woo. All right. So be careful, now though. be here careful, here. though, because some poses are really hard to hold. Some what? Some poses. Be careful what you choose as a pose because some oh. poses are really hard to hold through the whole thing. Yeah, it is a slideshow, not a movie. So you want to try and hold it. But that, yeah, 
Good point, Kathy. Don't pick something where you're going to fall over or you're gonna, your arm is going to die because it's up too long. But, but Pooja, what will also help is if you go fairly quickly through the, explaining the different slides. So good job. And, and are you willing to do that tonight? You did such a good job. Yay, I nominate you to be our host tonight. So it's going to be Pooja. And I think it worked just fine with having everyone else, unless there are a whole bunch of other people who show up. If other people who show up who haven't done this game today, we'll just have you you folks who've been here today, because they, they won't really know how to do it. Um, wonderful. OK, so now here's what we get to choose from for the, the showcase. OK, so. Um, we can do, oh, actually, I wonder if I could, I could probably paste this into the chat so you could see it. Hang on a second. Um, yes, I can. La, 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 la. Copy. And we're going to paste it. Through the miracle of technology. Yeah, can you see it? So here's the things we can choose from in addition to a uh, slideshow that, that we just did. So these are all on here. There's sound ball, which might be nice for a warm up where you um, have a ball. It could be any size. It could be big, it can be small, it can be light, it can be heavy. You make a sound, you throw it, you call someone's name, you throw it. And they catch it with the same sound and, and with the same weight and size. And then they immediately call someone else's name and, and throw a different ball. They change it immediately. And you don't think too long. You go quickly. So we can, we can do a quick round of that to remember it. So I'm going to call someone's name. Everyone get ready because it might come to you. So turn your microphones on this time because that way you can be ready right away. So this is sound ball. We want to make sure everyone gets a turn. You're going to call their name instead of their number. So be ready, because it's not necessarily going to go in order. When your name is called, you're on. OK. Anina. Woo. Woo. Kathy. Eek. Which one? It's Kathy. <laughs> I wish one of you could be Kate or something. It's really hard. Just call me KS. KS, good. Um, OK. But I, it was to Kathy's iPad. Eek. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to say. <laughs> Call someone's Georgia. name. Call someone's name. Andrew. That was to Andrew. Was it to Andrew? Okay, yeah. Don't yes. forget to say, say the person's name first and then throw the ball. Who threw who threw it to Andrew? Um uh, say it say his name again and then throw a ball. Andrew. You're in. KS. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Laura. Whoopie, whoopie, Um, Who hasn't been called on yet? Raise your hand if you haven't had the ball yet. I think that's everyone. Throw it back to me. Yeah. <laughs> And now I'm going to take that ball and whew, disappear. OK, so that's that's a fun one. That sound ball is a nice, fun warm up. Three things. You all remember that when we go into three, three things. And then I would give a category to Pooja and I would say three things that such and such. Right. So we can do a quick review of that one. And this one we will go in order. We'll go with the numbers. So I so think ahead on this one of a category. You can't think ahead on the on the three things that you're going to name because you don't know the category that your your the person before you is going to give you. But you can have a category ready so you don't sit there going, "Oh, I can't think of anything." So um, we're all going to go three things. We're going to do this as quickly as we can, and name those three things very quickly. Don't stop. Don't think. If if nothing comes to your brain, just gibberish. La la la. Yeah yeah yeah. And hey hey hey. Great. Those are your three things. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Hey, Laura, are you with us on this? Okay. It looks like you're writing it down. Okay, put your fists together. One, two, three. And three, three things. Uh, Pooja, three things that uh, are exciting. Scuba diving, skydiving, watching TV. 
Yay! One, two, three. Three, three things. things. Pooja to Kathy. Kathy's iPad. Three things that are not interesting to read. That are what? Not interesting to read. To read. Reader's Digest, Children's Highlight, and um, the newspaper. Yay! Ready? Three <laughs> things. Ready. Kathy to Laura. Uh, Laura, three things um, that you shouldn't tell anybody. I'm not telling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, I'll think of something. Um, Anything. Um, things that scare you. Um, um, what you really thinking. Okay, one more. <laughs> and what you're not thinking that's a lie. Yay! <laughs> Three things. things. Laura, give a category to Anina. <laughs> um, dangerous things. Things to not do. Things to not do because they're dangerous. Dangerous things. Okay. Yeah, to not do. Um, driving over 100 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. Um, Love it. Eating or drinking lots and lots and lots, and, okay. and um, walking on a tightrope. Yay! Oh. And especially, I wouldn't do those three things at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. 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 <laughs> Anina to Andrew. <clears throat> um, things that taste bad. Uh, wood, dirt. <laughs> And birthday cards. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! One, two, three. Three, three things. things. Andrew to Kieran. <clears throat> uh, things that you don't Anything like to do. That you don't like to do. Okay. Um, break my ankle. <laughs> Uh, get mosquitoes and scream. Yay! Uh, three things. things. Three Karen things. to chaos. Uh, three things that you <coughs> had for dinner in the last week. Pizza. Um, spinach. Uh, kale. Yay. Yay! Last last one, chaos to me. Three things. Three things. Things that go bump in the night. <laughs> oh, Boron players, um, accordion players, and didgeridoo players. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's definitely a Lark Camp answer. <laughs> all right cool good job everybody so that's three things um that's another one of our choices and um let's see someone says oh puja is saying your internet isn't working properly well that's a bummer i hope it's working better for the showcase because we want you there all mm -hmm. right has her hand up oh yes yeah didn't we play three things the opposite way before where somebody named but we're yes. doing it okay. it's called things three but um for the purpose of the showcase tonight i think the the one that's a little bit more fun for the audience is the three things so we'll do so that's one option for the showcase um i think we played this on the first day and you might not have been here anina um story spine um how many of you were not here when we did story spine was that yesterday um, i didn't, hear, I didn't have the same I didn't hear the second word. Story one. Spine. It might have been a few days ago. Spine. So hang on a second. Let me yeah. get it into the chat. I think it's worth practicing. Um, I have to pull it from a document here. La, 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 la. Come on, document. Here we go. So this is a structure for a totally made up story. And it's going to help us make a good story that makes sense. So I'm about to put it in the chat. Okay, can everybody see that? That is story spine. So 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's only eight of us, so one person will go twice. I'll, I'll go twice. We'll go in order because it makes it easier because you see these numbers uh, match the number of your, <clears throat> your little square there. And we're going to get a title for our story. So go ahead and type a title of an imaginary story that's never been told into the chat. Type a title. Let's see what we've got. Title of a story that's never been told and will never be told again. Um, oh, I like um, my first day on Mars. I'm going to go with my first day on Mars. That, sound, that sounds fun. Okay, so everybody look at the, um, you might have to scroll up a little bit now, You those numbers one through nine. You're going to start a sentence with that number. So I'm number one. I'm going to say once upon a time, and remember this story is about, my first time on Mars, right? So, or my first day on Mars, my first day on Mars. So um, I'm going to start my sentence with once upon a time, and then I continue. Pooja's going to say every day, and then she's going to continue. And Kathy's going to say, but one day, this is going to be the day something different happens to this person. In this case, it's a story about me, my first day on Mars. Um, and then three times we're going to have because of that, because of that, because of that. We're adding to the story and heightening the suspense. And then number seven, until finally, that's going to be Karen. You get you get the climax of the story. Something new and different is going to happen, some big change. And then KS gets to say, ever mm. since then, this is winding the story down. He'll come back to me and I get to say, and the moral of the story is, <clears throat> so we're going to do story spine. This story is called My First Day on Mars. Once upon a time, many years ago, I was an astronaut and I went to Mars on the first expedition. Every day I used to practice on how to survive on Mars. Kathy. But, but one day. I couldn't remember how to get out of the spaceship. Laura. Because of that, I decided I wasn't supposed to get out of the spaceship and I should stay in the spaceship and meditate. Anina. Because of that, I got really good at um, being in the moment with myself in the spaceship. Andrew. Because of that, I uh, I started to feel a little bit lonely. Ah, Kieran. Until finally, I figured out that I remembered how to open the door, and I jumped out of the spaceship and danced around. <laughs> KS. And ever since then, I decided I loved going on a spaceship to Mars, and I can't wait for the next trip. <laughs> and the moral, wait, one more, and the moral of the story is don't be afraid to get out there and have some adventures. Yay! <laughs> so, good. Kieran, kudos to you because mm -hmm. in improv, we want to try and take some risks, right? We want to, if we want to be creative, if we, you know, as a character, you know, in real life, we probably should be careful. Like right now we got COVID, there's things we've got to be careful of. But in improv, we're playing characters, we can be brave and courageous. So, you know, staying in the, the spaceship and meditating for a little while is okay. But ultimately, you want to get out there and do something because that's going to make the story more interesting rather than just sitting in the spaceship the whole time. Does that make sense? So uh, take some risks in improv and... Um, heighten the action of the, of the stories and it will um, result in really fun stories. Okay, so that that was Story Spine. So that we will do tonight. And um, we'll, yeah, we'll get some titles from the audience and we'll go exactly like this according to the numbers. Um, now we've got one person here who might not be here tonight. Laura is a maybe, but we had other people who took improv during the week who might show up. And if we don't have nine people, what happens is we just go back to number one and we, we go until we've covered all nine. So maybe I'm, um, I'm, you know, I'm leaning first towards people go again. What? I'm leaning towards yes. Oh, good. Okay, good to know, Laura. Okay, <laughs> so go if you want to scroll back up to our um, list of games, um, 
that we choose from. Just scroll back up in the chat. So sound ball, three things, story spine, it's Tuesday. I think this one is worth reviewing because it's short and quick and fun. And I want you to remember how to do it if we do it tonight. So I'm going to say, we'll go in order again because it's easier. I'm going to say just uh, an everyday sentence um, and with no emotion, nothing, nothing big, just very matter of fact, like the sky is blue, I'm wearing a black shirt, whatever it is. Puja is going to have a huge reaction that doesn't make sense. And that's, that's the basis of comedy. Put a lot of emotion in it, facial expressions, gestures. So it's just, I say one very matter of fact line. She says a line with a big emotion. <clears throat> and then she says a very matter of fact line to the next person until we get through everyone. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. It's super fun. It's called It's Tuesday. Okay. Um, let's see. Today. Question. Question. Yes. Does the next next one that's posed to the next person have to relate to what the first one was? What the a good question. No, no, it's a completely new matter of fact statement. Thank does you. not have to relate to the last one. This does not have to connect as a story. What a good question, KS. Okay, so my first uh, statement to Pooja will be, um, I had granola for breakfast this morning. What? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> say a little bit more. We need a little bit more from you. Let's let's try it again. I'm going to give you a new one so you don't plan. My shirt is black. My shirt is black. Really? I didn't realize that. Oh my god! What? How did I not realize that? I thought it was gray. Okay. Oh Yay. God. Okay. Now you're going to give a simple, matter of fact statement to Kathy. Uh. Okay. Coffee has many colors. No, I'm not going to let you use that because you used it before in class. <laughs> it. You remember it? I do. Yes, a, new, a new matter of fact statement, Pooja. You can do it. The moon is black. <laughs> what? That's, not so, that's not so matter of fact. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, say something else about the moon. The moon is just something matter of fact. The moon is mostly in circle when it's when it's. Whoa, like whoa, the moon. whoa, whoa, whoa! Short sentence. The moon is white. The moon is bright. Just something very okay. short. I mean, boring, right? This is pink. Okay, good. Kathy. Man, what is that? I never saw anything like that in my life. Wait, I want a bigger I want a bigger reaction. Be scared or be angry or be in love with it. Something big. Ooh, I love the color. It's so sensual. Shit. <laughs> I could okay. kiss it to death. It's nice, really Kathy. Pretty. <laughs> okay. Time out. Very good. Okay, now Kathy to Laura. Just a simple matter of fact statement. Oh, it's so foggy here. I can't stand it. No, no, no. That's not matter of fact. No emotion. Just it's it's foggy today. It's foggy here today. Okay. Laura, big reaction, big emotion. Oh my reaction. God! I can't see where I'm going. I'm 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 I might walk off a cliff. Yay! Okay, Laura to Anina. Something simple, matter of fact. The sun makes things hot. Hot? I hate being hot. Oh my God, I get all sweaty and uh, nervous and stuff. Yay. Okay, Anina to Andrew. I had quesadillas today. <laughs> huh? Well, I had quesadillas too. That's really, really weird. Okay, wait a minute. Andrew, I'm going to challenge you. I want to big emotional reaction that doesn't make sense. Get angry, get silly, laugh, uh, be frightened of that. Something big, something crazy that doesn't make sense. Big emotional reaction. Say, say the line again, Anina. I had quesadillas today. Ah, somebody say quesadillas. I almost, I almost got eaten by a quesadilla one time. Yay! Good job, Andrew. And I loved your delivery, Anina. Just very flat delivery. Okay, Andrew, matter of fact statement to Kieran. 
Cats exist. Cats exist? Oh no! How are <laughs> cats and dogs gonna get along? No! <laughs> Yay! Kieran, Kieran to chaos. The world is round. <laughs> round! Round! What are you saying? Round? No! <laughs> All right, and the last one, chaos to me. Days are getting shorter. Oh, God. There's no time. There's no time. There's no time left for anything. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. So the point of this game is to have a big, wild, crazy reaction. That's Yay. Good one. To get scared. Sorry, That's a what? good one. I think we should do that. Yeah. Yeah, to get to get angry yeah. or or ecstatically happy or afraid or you know just something really emotionally over the top because again that's what makes it funny okay so um emotion machines we did that yesterday right where we we took some um emotions and one person at a time came in doing some sort of motion right and then we all added on till we had a big machine um with that one's a little tricky on Zoom because if we all make sound at the same time, Zoom doesn't handle that so well. But I think I think what we did is we made silent machines, and then at the you know, at the end, actually, um, then we can have people maybe turn their well, actually, hmm, I'm just trying to think about that one. Yesterday, we did yeah, maybe maybe, maybe we won't maybe we won't do that one. That one's a little tricky on well, Zoom. Well, the, there's one way you can do that is how how uh, um, Boy Justice does it. Um, you do the machine and then you point to each person and they make their sound one at a time. Right, but then, then you'd have to you'd have to have your mics off and then turn them on, or you'd have to have your mics on but be quiet, which I think yeah, we you can, can handle. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, we could handle that. And then um yes. yeah, we could try that. Just, so just it's a motion question. machine. Alphabet scene was between two people where they take the letters of the alphabet. It takes a while and it's only two people, but it can be very fun. Who are our two people who did it? I think it was Pooja and somebody somebody who's not here today, I think. So those are fun, where you do a scene, you get a location, you get the characters, you get a letter of the alphabet, you have to go all the way around the alphabet. It's a fun oh, one, but it does, take, it does take a bit of time, and it's only two players. I am a tree. That's a good one. We did that yesterday, so or the day before. So one person yeah, starts, I'm a tree, the other, and then someone else turns yeah. their camera on, I'm a squirrel, and the third person yeah. was, I'm the nuts, right? And then the first person... That. And then the first person chooses who they take, and that one person who's left, like, I am the nuts, and then people add. So that's a good one to do for the showcase. How many of you remember how to do that? Who I doesn't remember? remember? Okay, let's do a quick round. Okay. Um, so so are, are those supposed to make sense or not? This one is supposed to make sense. Okay. Whatever the person starts with, you go with something that um, goes with that. Okay. So uh, everybody turn your cameras off. And you come in in any order. You don't have, it's not the numbers. You, you just get an idea and you come in until we have three people. So I'll start. Um, I am a flower. Someone come in and be something that goes with a flower. I am a bee getting pollen from the flower. Good. And one more, Kieran. I am the raindrops on the flower. Okay, so now because I went first, I choose one of them to take with me. I'm going to take the B with me. So, Laura, you and I turn our cameras off. Kieran is left, and you repeat it again. I am the rain. I am the raindrops falling down. Good. Someone add in. What goes with rain? I am the clouds that's hitting the rain. Good. And one more. Anina, who are you? No, just one more. We've got Anina. So, KS, turn your camera off. Oh, you're muted, my friend. I'm the sun that comes out after the rain. Nice. Kieran, who are you going to take with you? Hold the pose, Anina. Hold the pose. I think I'll take the clouds because I don't want to stop raining. Okay, so um, Pooja and Kieran, camera's off. Anina, you stay and say your line again. I'm the sun that comes out after the rain. Great. Someone join her. What goes with sun? I'm the person. I'm the person walking in the sunshine. Okay, take a pose. And Andrew, what are you? I am the water drying up from the sun. Good. So Anina, uh, what which one are you gonna take with you? Um the person walking 
Okay, so Kathy and Anina, camera's off. Andrew, you stay. I think this might be the last one. Andrew, say your line again. I have the water drying. Okay, now if you haven't been on yet, here's your chance. What goes with water drying? Go, Kay. I am the child coming out to play now that the rain is gone. Anyone else hasn't gone yet? All right, then I'll go. I am the sun that is drying up that water and shining on that child. Yay. <laughs> Yay, everybody come back. That is I am a tree. So that's, I think, a good one to do with everyone. So um, slideshow we did tonight, I mean today, uh, so you know how that one works. That's with a, a host and slide people. Freeze tag we did earlier this week. Um, it's where two people are moving and then I yell freeze. And then um, next person comes in, they take that exact position and they start a new scene. We can actually do it two at a time, which makes it go faster. You wanna do a quick run through of that? We'll do it super quick. Um, let's have Pooja and Kathy keep your cameras on. Everyone else cameras off. Pooja and Kathy, move around, move around. Don't plan, just move around. Move around, move around, move around. And freeze. Freeze. Start a scene from that position. We have to know who you are, where you are, and what are you doing. Go, start talking. Oh, Kathy, Kathy, you're muted. Okay, start talking. I'm really kind of afraid of you. I wish you'd get further away, like a mile away. <laughs> Don't say that. I'm your daughter, don't say that. Do you say that to your daughter? <laughs> you bet. I wish. <laughs> say, say something else so we know where you are. I wish I'd never had you. I'm moving to New Zealand. Praise, praise. Okay, to the two more people come in. Let's have numbers four and five. <laughs> Kathy, you got to freeze. I know you're laughing, but try to freeze. Two more people come in. Numbers four and five come in. Four and five. Who's number four? Laura? Was it Laura? Are you still here? Okay. So, um, Anina, you're taking um, Pooja's position. Put your, put your hands exactly where her hands are. And Laura, put your hands exactly where Kathy's hands are. Exactly where her hands are. Now, Pooja and Kathy, turn your cameras off. <laughs> and Laura and Anina, you start a brand new scene. You are two new people in a new location and doing something else. We need to know who are you, where are you, what are you doing? And you have to be unmuted. Go. <laughs> Elephant being scared of a mouse. <laughs> you don't, you know, don't, don't say what you are. Have a scene with her. Oh, I thought you did say what you were. No, no, you don't. You, we need to know it by your conversation. You're doing a scene as an elephant. You could say, well, oh. I'm so glad I'm an elephant. <laughs> Something like I that. I can go, ah, eek, a mouse. Ah. Okay. So now, much. Anina, you know, you're a, you know you're a mouse. Go. Ah. You're so afraid of me. You're so big. What ah. is your problem? Oh, my goodness. Ah. I just sit here and watch you. This is totally entertaining for me. No, you have to find a reason to move or we're going to have the same position all the way through the whole game. No, find a reason to have a different gesture. Don't mm. don't hold that gesture. Both of us or? Well, or at least one of you. <laughs> Go ahead, you can. Good. Say something, it's so, Anina. It's so funny that you're afraid of me just because I'm a little mouse. Freeze. Freeze. Good. Now we have at least got something different. Number six and seven, come on. Six and seven, come on. Andrew, I'm going to have you take Anina's position. Put your hands where her hands are. Kieran, I'm going to have you take Laura's position. Laura and Anina, turn your cameras off. And Kieran and Andrew start a new... Oh, Andrew, where'd you go? Andrew! There you are. New scene. Two different, new, different characters, different location. You're doing something different. Go. So, wait, if, if you want to be a butterfly, you have to grow wings like this. And they got flat. Mom, I wanted to be a ladybug. Well, you got you gotta be you gotta the be a butterfly. And, red and white spots. I like ladybugs. Freeze! Freeze! Good. And who's next? KS come on. And I'll come on. Okay. Uh KS, 
Um, why don't you take uh, Kieran's position, and I'll take I'll take Andrew. <laughs> Got to figure out which side it is here. Okay, and they can turn their cameras off. And oh man, Doctor, my head really really hurts after that boulder fell on me. I understand that. Mine hurts too. I've seen too many patients today. So, oh. so uh, I, I will see you. You're the last patient, but I will see but, you. But, but if you've got a headache too, how are you going to help me? Please, I, I need help from you, doctor. I'm trying to help you. Just let me, please. Okay. And see. Either that or get out of my office. Ooh, okay. Now that would have been a good choice. Get out of my office. I got my own problem. Well, I did that last time. <laughs> played this last time and I did that last time and I didn't want to repeat it. Okay. Everybody back on. We just have five more minutes left. That is freeze tag. We're going to do it that way where we go two at a time if we do it. Okay. And then the w the only things did that you, are left are paper. Yeah, did, did you say we needed to save the place where we are? You need to indicate where ideally in these scenes, freeze tag are very short. We want to know who you are um what are you doing and if we can where you are like that last scene obviously we were in the doctor's office in the okay. clinic she and, was a doctor i was a patient it only takes a few lines to indicate you and you don't have to say i am a doctor you could say hmm so i see you've come to the clinic for help that shows us that you're a doctor you don't have to actually say your relationship that's just implied you you can imply it or you can say it um i think that uh kieran and andrew uh andrew called kieran mom so that makes it very clear that, that Kieran is playing Andrew's mom. So you can endow the other person, or you could say, as your doctor, I recommend. So, But you want to let the audience know in some way. You can either name yourself or name your partner. Okay, we don't have much time yet so, left, so here's the deal. The other things on our list, Good, Bad, and Ugly Advice Show, that was Kieran with our uh, three advice experts. How many of you really like that and you want to do that? I didn't see that, I don't okay. think. Was that um, yesterday? Well, yeah, so we won't do that. We won't uh, do that right now, but I think we'd like to do it tonight. Kieran, will you be our MC again for that? And let's see hands of who wants to be the advice experts. We need a good advice expert, a bad advice expert, and an ugly advice. Anina, which one do you want to be? Ugly. Oh, I can't hear you. Ugly. Sorry, I was muted. Okay, so Anina, Anina is ugly. Um, MC is Kieran. Who's going to be our good advice? Oh, I can. I'll try that. Kathy is Kathy's going to be good advice. And who else wanted to be in this? Pooja or or Andrew? Which of you wants to be in this? Who wants to give the bad advice? I don't mind doing it, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not. Um, Laura, are you going to be there tonight? Actually, I'd like to give the ugly advice. Well, that was that's already been claimed. But oh, you can, I'll, I'll you, give the bad advice then. You can give the bad advice. Okay. Okay, great. All right. So that is going to be Kieran, Anina, uh, Kieran, um, the host or MC. Good advice, Kathy. Bad advice, Laura. Ugly advice, Anina. Okay. We might do paperclip tonight. We'll see. We're going to see what we have time for. We've got Pooja doing the slideshow. Everything else is pretty much everyone in it. I think we're going to take out Emotion Machine and Alphabet Scene because those are not yeah. going to work as well. That gives uh, us like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, that, that'll fill up our hour. I think. Uh, what good. room are we in? Oh, you have to look at the schedule. Hang I'm on. Pretty sure we're going to be in the main room. The main room. Oh, good to know. Room one? Oh, so it's not it's not a breakout. It's in the main, you mean the main room that everybody enters. The main lobby. So we will have spotlighting capabilities. I think that would be helpful for okay. recording so we can have all be spotlighted in there. Oh, that's awesome. And you'll be there as our tech person. Well, then maybe we could even end with a spotlight dance. Um, yeah. Oh, that'd be fun. Well, think about it. That means that I'm going to have to be, if I've co-host, can I play the music through uh, yeah. my computer to the main room? Okay. So One here's what we're left with, guys. Listen up. Listen up. Make sure you show up early. Don't show up right at 815. That's when our audience shows up. When will the room be open, Karen? The room will be open all the time. Um, let me check. 
let's say you guys, I want, I would like to see you there in that main room. Let's say 8.05. So you're there 10 minutes before the show starts. Is, is that the help room? No, that's the, that's the main room, the main lobby. You just click on the link and you're in the main lobby. Okay. Okay. So we need to, we need to end our, we need to end our class. So Wade can start his class. So very quickly, one word, something that you got out of this class. One word, Pooja. Happiness. Happiness, Kathy. Spontaneity. Yay, Laura. A little bit of courage. Ooh, courage, good, Anina. Companionship. Companionship, Andrew. Uh, I don't know. I'll come back to you, Kieran. Rain. Rain, <laughs> chaos. Fun. Fun, Andrew, did you think of something? Beluga. Okay, and I'm going to say gratitude. I'm grateful to all of you for coming. So be there at 8.05 tonight in the main room. We'll do our showcase. And give yourselves a hand. Woo! Let's do, let's do a final pose. Who's got our final pose? How, 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 late, how late does it go? It, it only is an hour. Only an hour. To 9.15? Okay, great. So our Family, screen shot, let's right? do the rain. The rain that Kieran did. Rain. Screenshot Same Kieran. Same link, right? What? Same link. Same link. Same link. Yeah. The, the rain, the raindrops. Okay, you got it, Kieran. And goodbye, everybody. See you at 8.05. Uh, take take it away, Wade, for your class. Are there going to be any other activities tonight besides ours? I don't. Uh, there's a late night jam or something like oh, that. Oh, there is? Join me in okay, the main great. room and I Thanks. can talk about it. Bye, you guys. Wade has his class. Thanks, Bye. Join you in the main room and talk about it. Is that yeah. what you said? Okay. <laughs>